JJ the CPA here, hope you're doing well. This just in, hot off the press, dear Western, if I get something wrong on my client's tax return, should I amend the tax return for free? Well, we've all been there, right? As much as we hate to admit it, we're only human. So first of all, don't beat yourself up over it. Second, the hardest part of this is delivering that news to your client. The faster you can do that, the better. When I've had to do these circumstances, I'm going to admit to you that I've never had to do it. I'm kidding. I've had to do it. But the first thing to do is first look at what is going to be the result with the amending. And the reason I'm getting that is that you probably should go ahead and just prepare the amended return so that you know the result, the repercussions, potentially any penalties and interest that are related to that, so that when you call your client, you're saying, we missed this. We apologize. We've already prepared the amended return. Here is the result. Here is what is due. Maybe it leads to a refund. And we now feel that you need to go ahead and get this filed. And I wouldn't even bring up whether or not you're going to charge it. Now, here's a little asterisk with this. We also know that many times we have to amend a return because our client didn't give us the information when we originally filed. Now, what does a lot of clients do, right? Well, I thought I told you, or I thought I emailed you that, or no, I know I gave you those documents. So one of the things that we do in our office is that we're very, very concise on any information that we get from clients to ensure it's in an exact file, just like you. So reassure your client, if you had sent it, we would have it. And I appreciate that you think you sent it to me, but you did not. And therefore, we do have this change. We are going to have to amend the return. And therefore, there will be a charge related to that. Now, of course, you can come up with your own scenarios related to that. It all depends on who the client is and the relationship and the difficulty in amending it. But here's the one thing I want you to take away from both scenarios. What you have to think about is protecting yourself as well. From who? from the IRS, from the client. And what do I mean by that? You want to ensure that you're protecting yourself from ensuring that the returns you've been preparing have been done to the best of your ability, which we all know you're trying. But here's the biggest thing that you're going to run into potentially when you call the client and you say, we've got an error, we've got an update, we need to amend it. The client's saying, well, do I have to amend it, especially if they owe? And there's some trickiness to this and many, many different opinions, but here's what we know. It is ultimately up to the client to decide whether or not they want to amend that return. What we have to remember is that when it's originally filed, if it is at that time believed to be true and correct, accurate, et cetera, signed under penalties of perjury, well, then it is. And believe it or not, there's not a requirement to file an amended return. What the IRS requires is that if they find it, you're going to owe the tax penalties and interest. So I've never not let a client not amend a return. But when they say, do I have to amend it? I say, well, here's really the answer. You get to decide. But unfortunately, if you don't amend this return, I won't be able to continue to be your tax advisor because I know that it needs to be changed. So this is a way that you can take care of all sides. So with that, if you've got a question, then send it in to Dear Western at westerncpe.com. That's D-A-R Western at westerncpe.com.